Hey guys, welcome back to another Can I Fix It video. As you can see, we have a monster of a laptop monitor here. It's a 27 inch Samsung Sync Master SA950. I got this for a whopping $16.25. How great is that? So it came with the power brick, active 3D glasses, the driver disc, cleaning cloth, a zip tie, and user manuals. Everything seems to be in good condition. For example, the screen doesn't look cracked or anything. So on the listing, the person said that they tried to move the monitor from one desk to another, and when they moved it, apparently it stopped working, and they have no idea why. So let's plug this in and see what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna keep this upright. So it's easier to work on. Just gonna angle it like that. Okay, I got the power brick right here. Let's plug this side in first. Just gonna leave it here. Let's plug this into the power point. Plug it in. Let's get the other end. So the DC jack is at the back over here. I'm gonna plug this in at the back. Okay, that's plugged in. So now I don't see any lights anywhere. There's no LED indicator to say that the power is in. The power button is right here. When I press it, nothing happens. There's no other buttons around. Okay, first I'm gonna see if there's a voltage coming out from the charger. Get the multimeter on screen. I'm gonna go one probe outside and one on the inside. And let's see what's happening. Okay, we have 1440 volts coming out. Let me just check the charger if that's the amount that's supposed to come out. Yeah, that's correct. Look at this output 14.0 volts, 4.5 amps. So the charger is fine, which means I'm gonna open up this monitor. Okay, so we got Philips head screws here. Okay, I'm not sure how to get this open. I think I'll have to watch an online video how to get it opened up. Okay, so we have to start from the top here. We have to take off this back plate first. Okay, the back plate is coming out. That's good news. Okay, let's move the back plate to a side. Okay, now let's take off these two connectors over here. Okay, they're both out. Now these screws down here. That piece is out. So let's put the screen away and work on this bottom part. There's four screws over here we have to take off now. Okay. There's a couple of screws holding this shield down. Let's take that off. I'm gonna give this a quick visual inspection to see if anything's blown up or fallen off. Okay, I can't see anything obviously wrong with it. So what I'm gonna do is plug the DC power point in and just check for voltage around the board. I'm just gonna try something. I'm gonna inject voltage from my power supply. I'm gonna get a ground point here. Then come in with the power. Let's take in 
0.09 amps. 0.09 is too much if it's not turned on. So I'm guessing some component on the board is taking all this power. Okay, so since I can't find anything, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna reflow this chip. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try reflowing this one. Okay, so I bought a thermal cam recently. It's a Unity UTI 85A. I got this on AliExpress for $300. Let's connect it up and see if we can figure out what's wrong with this board. I'm gonna turn it on, take this back piece off, and then connect it to the computer through the USB C connection here. Okay, let's connect it up. Okay, so this area seems to be the most warm. This component here and this coil over here. Okay, so this was the component that was getting hot along with this coil. Let's just check around this area on diode mode. Both these are the same component. The one on the left was the one that is getting heated up. I'm just gonna compare both to see if anything's different. These two pins are together and on this one it's 0 0.154 and on this one 0 0.129 that's the only big difference that's there let's see where they go off to okay they go off to the coils let's also check the voltage on them if there is any I'm gonna connect the power Okay. 1.258 3.3 So the two outputs are different Okay, I'm gonna take off this IC and see if it's still drawing power from the power supply Okay, now I'm gonna come in with the power Let's see if it's still drawing 60 milliamps Nope, not anymore. Can you see that? That means it's all good now, which probably means that IC was faulty. I connected the power button board and just pay attention here. There's a few LEDs here as well. So I've set my power supply to 3.3 and I'm gonna come in at the output here and then connect the power. Can you see that? I'm guessing it's working now. I just want to connect the screen and see if it turns on as well. Okay, 3.3 there. And plug it in. Okay, the lights on. Is the screen turning on? Can you see that guys? It's working. Okay, so now that we confirm that this chip is faulty, I'm gonna order one up. Okay, so the chips are finally here. Let's open it up. So it came in a set of five. Let's get the motherboard out. Let's clean up the pads and add some solder. Now let's come in with the hot air. Okay, now let's come in with our power supply. 14 volts. Now I'm gonna come in at the input here. Okay, it's taking 180 milliamps. Okay, I think I have to go under the thermal cam again. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna come in with the power again. That chip gets hot first and then this one over here. Ok, 
Okay, so I just replaced this chip as well. Under the thermal cam, this was getting hot as well. And it's the same chip as these ones. So since I had spare ones, I used one of them. Let's plug it in again. Okay guys, let me show you what's going on here. So I have 3.4 volts on this power supply. So I'm going to come in at the output over there. And then connect the power like we always did. Turns on like that. Let me see if the lights came on. So once I let go, it still stays on. And I can turn it off as well. And look at this. It comes back on again without the power supply connected. I tested this with the screen as well and it still works. Okay, if you see here now, the power is still connected. I still haven't disconnected it. And I can still turn it on. Take a look here. Comes on. And goes off. So when it's turned off like this, right now on the board, the only things that are heating up is those two things. And we already replaced that chip right there, but we haven't done anything with that coil. Since both these coils are the same, I'm going to switch these two. So after that I decided to replace a few components around that chip. For example these four resistors and the capacitor and these three capacitors here as well. Okay guys, I can't seem to figure out what exactly is wrong with this one. Since we know that after that initial boost it works, I'm gonna use this monitor myself and I'm gonna connect a wire from this output where the 3.3 comes out and to the outside of the monitor. So every time we disconnect it and connect it to get that initial boost, I can power it up using my power supply and then it'll work. Okay, so I got 3.8 volts on the power supply and it's coming all the way to the back of the monitor here. The positive terminal is connected to that wire I connected and the negative terminal, I'm going to connect it to this and then plug it in. Here we go, it's turned on. And now, if we unplug this, take it off, still works. And I can turn it off. And it's off now. And I can turn it back on. And it's on. Okay, I'm going to plug the HDMI cable in. There we go guys. My computer screen is on the thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.